Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm gonna give you some tips for some successful networking so you can grow your business. I'm Ann Ganguza. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, the purpose of my channel is to help make you a better voiceover actor and to help grow your voiceover business. So if you like what you're hearing, don't forget to go click that subscribe button. So today I want to share some tips for successful networking. Now that we're starting to be out and about and we can do some in-person networking, I really think it means a lot to be able to physically be in the presence of others in order to really network effectively and network so that we are memorable. So I don't want you to network just to sell yourself. We really want to network to start, establish, maintain a relationship because that relationship is going to benefit you further on down the road if not immediately so just because you're networking in person doesn't mean that you're going to get a job right away however the seeds that you plant for a good relationship and then continue to grow over time can really come back and help you to be more successful in your business, get more gigs, um, be referred for more gigs. So make sure that your primary purpose is to really just establish a relationship. So if possible, in-person networking is best because not only will you have the ideas that you communicate back and forth to each other, but you'll also have an energy. You'll You'll have an energy that is shared between you, which is really hard to duplicate if you're just texting back and forth or emailing back and forth. And if you can't have in-person networking, I think the next best thing would be maybe a video call, like a Zoom call, or even a phone call is really effective. And I know that that may not be the most popular method right now with a, the younger generation who likes to communicate back and forth via text, which I think is fine. But if you can, possibly either get on the phone, share that 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 moment <laughs> that's not just text back and forth so that people can hear the nuances in your voice, they can hear the emotion uh, and the connection, I think it's going to work out a whole lot better for your business and help you to be more successful. Another benefit to networking in person or in some format where people can see and hear you is that you can, when you think externally, meaning you're not just thinking about how can I sell myself, but how can I serve my customer? How can I serve this potential? potential client and really listen to what they have to say. A lot of times I would always advocate to listen first because then you can get to know your potential client and understand what their uh, joys are, what their frustrations are, and then you can figure out how you can best serve them with your business.